we're gonna crack straight on today. I've got Optimistic, which is a gel polish nude from Madame Glam. I'm gonna apply this to two of our nails and we are gonna do two coats. Each coat will need 30 seconds in an LED lamp. Ta-da! There we go. You're also gonna need some, they call them 3D sculpting gel, 4D sculpting gel, 4D carving gel or carved gel, depending on where you buy it from. You can get this stuff really cheap off Amazon, so you don't have to spend a packet on it. I personally would get it from Amazon because I don't use it a lot, so I'd probably just buy the cheap stuff. <laughs> right, two coats of gel polish colour, and then I've gone over the top with the velvet matte top coat. Um, oh, this the hat was the most awkwardest bit. Right, if you have got a silicone tool, you can use a silicone tool, or you can use. I'm using an old um, 3D acrylic art brush. Um, but you're, you're going to need a little bit of acetone, right? I'm just tucking that up underneath the the gel, the carved gel, uh, the sculpting gel. And I saw actually, the, the reason I'm doing this is because I saw uh, Tino Vo do a, a gonk, a 3D gonk. So I watched him do it and I was like, oh, I really want to do one. Um, so yeah, I got that trick from him. This isn't the same as his one. This is more like if you don't follow her there's a lady called um claire wood nail artist on instagram she does the most amazing gonks honestly go and have it find her on instagram um she's called claire bear i think on facebook but i'm friends with her i don't know if she's got a nail page on, i'm not sure she probably has got a nail page on facebook um, but she does, this is kind of more like more her style gonk that she does, but not, I don't know, it's kind of in between a mixture of both. So they both, uh, Tino, Tino Vo's, uh, yeah, his nail was cute. And, but I, I, I prefer her, I prefer the style of hers because they are, oh, they're just so cute. I don't know, I, I think gonks are really cute. Anyway, look, I'm just tucking a little bit of acetone underneath. So he said that that kind of melts the gel and it helps it to stick to the nail. So I thought, right, I'll do that. Sometimes I forgot to do it and sometimes I did it. <laughs> so I guess it's kind of like just if you remember. But here I'm using a dotting tool just to like give the the trim of the hat some texture so just he used the end of a crystal picker um but just whatever you've got something that's pointy just poke it in it's, it's so yeah just poke it in and make it a bit textured <laughs> i don't know what i'm all about give it a 60 second cure and then i'd done the same with the hat the bobble i was out of shot um, so I thought, well, we'll just skip forward. It was the same anyway. It's just like a round ball. And then the beard was a little bit awkward. It's like very long stringy bits. And I am putting them right up to the top of the hat. I wanted to curve it slightly. Again, I went out of shot, which was really annoying. Um, you can give it a cure if you want and then move on to the next one. Uh, what I think I done from what I remember, I only done it yesterday and I've forgotten already. Um, was I done one on each side and then cured and then done one on each side and then cured or I think I part cured and then full cured at the end I can't remember properly now um, but you just want to do that all the way to the end and they get shorter as they get to the sides and the beard kind of gets a bit more structured can you see how it's kind of like puffed out at the edges and then it goes down to a point like a paintbrush um, and then I, I had a nude and a brown and I didn't want him to be too brown but I didn't want him to be too pale so I gave him a tan by mixing the nude and the brown together <laughs> I don't know why um, either would have sufficed um, but yeah he's got like a now now like a, an oval blob that I've stuck on him as a nose I'm going to put a little bit of acetone underneath the nose boop like that and then boop like that and then I do pat it a little bit more. Don't press down too hard because you obviously don't want the nose to be too flat. 
And then I gave him some arms. These were a little bit tricky, but again, these were like little sausages. And then it just tucks onto the sort of like the top of the hat, between the hat and the beard. And then it just curves round. You want to save a little bit of space for his little mittens. Um, if you want to know how to do this properly, because I, I don't know, I just winged it. Um, I think Claire has workshops. She, yeah, I'm pretty sure. But she does hers with acrylic. How she does it with acrylic is beyond me. Her talent is just insane. Um, yeah, I, I don't think there's any way I could do it with acrylic. <laughs> this was bad enough. <laughs> so if you're an acrylic tech and you want to learn how to do gonks, go and check out Claire Wood Nail Artist on Instagram. There we go. That's his little mitten. I'm going to do another mitten on the other side. I also gave him a candy cane because I thought he needed something. He needed to be holding something. I didn't give him any feet because by this time I just thought, oh, just, this is very time consuming. <laughs> so that was it. That is him done. And because the, the carving gel doesn't have a tacky layer, so you don't have to top coat or anything, which is great. Right, now I'm using Sunset in Florida for Madame Glam. And I'm also going to be using Nail Sugar's Hello Ruby Glitter. You can get 10% off Nail Sugar's Bits and Bobs using my code NATMUG10. I don't know if I said also, look, this is gorgeous. This is going to make our... We're going to do like every Christmas set of nails needs a Christmas candy cane. And our little Christmas gonk is holding a candy cane. So, I, you know, why not? <laughs> so we're just burnishing this glitter into that tacky layer of the gel polish. Just using our brush. It's really easy to do and it makes the nail look gorgeous. And this kind of thing is great if you're doing gel polish nails. Because burnishing the glitter in makes the glitter sit nice and flush. So you're not really going to get any sticky uppy bits. And this is the No Wipe Top Coat from Madame Glam. Look how gorgeous that nail looks already. That's like... Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Look at it, though! Pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Then using Madame Glam's white gel paint, I'm going to apply the gel paint in some swervy, curvy lines. Thick curvy lines like so like this <laughs> and then just fill it in and then the next one I done was supposed to kind of match this one but it it didn't it didn't at all and then I done and it, it was just way too thick so I do end up tidying it up a bit I'm just going to fill it in first. So, who's looking forward to Christmas? I really, I love Christmas. Um, if you haven't already noticed, um, no, I don't know that I should say anything yet. If you, yeah, check out my, actually, you might already know now because I'm putting a post up. Um, so, I can tell you, me and Karen Heidi Reese and Kelly from Chronically Creative Nails are doing a December nail advent collab so it's like this massive collaboration with all of us all throughout December so each day up until Christmas Eve you will have a video every day from us ah, a video every day throughout December it's gonna be insane uh, so I'm super excited because I could tell you about that now I've been doing the nails since October I think so I was doing Christmas nails in October <laughs> Fortunately, I love them. I've only got four left to do. Um, the other, the other, the two, Karen and um, Kelly are, they've already done theirs. They're so on the ball. They've done, they're just, yeah, blimey. Uh, so I've got four more to do, but then I'm done. And the plan is that I can spend some time with family and chill out a little bit over December. I will be doing some, the, 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 the nail art advent nail videos are only like one nail so kind of like an accent nail um but i will hopefully be doing some extra full sets over december as well um because i'll probably i'll probably start getting what do they call it i'll probably start getting twitchy if i'm not at my nail desk you know for too long <laughs> but yeah i'm really really excited about the collab so Look out for that starting on the 1st of December 
Um, there'll be a post. I'm going to put a post up. And you, you might have seen it already by now. So, yeah. Excited. Right. For this next nail, I've gone ahead and I've applied the uh, a coat of or two coats i'm not sure of sunset in florida again and then i'm using the nail sugar hearts and stars decals i absolutely love these they're the outlines i cannot draw stars to save my life so these star decals are an absolute lifesaver um i will cut out the decal place it on a stamper you're just going to dampen the back of the decal with some water and then after several seconds, the backing will slide off and you can just stamp the decal onto your nail and you've just got like instant nail art. It's amazing. Um, I'm actually going to fill, I'm going to put two of the stars on, slightly different heights up the nail. Um, you, I don't, you can't see them very well. Can you see where I put them? Sort of where the light shines on them. Um, I am going to just, before I top coat this one, I'm going to go across the top bit, across here, with some, sh what's it called? Not striping gel, uh, spider gel. Spider gel! Um, because, why not? You could do, you could just draw some lines on if you want. The striping gel is just nice and thin. Then I'm going to go over with some matte top coat. And you're probably thinking, why did you bother putting those decals on? Because you can't see it. Just give me minute give me a minute or will be revealed pop that in the lamp for a cure this is the matte one by the way did i say matte top coat i don't know and then we are going to fill in the stars with white gel paint see 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 what i did there <laughs> and then i'm gonna do exactly the same thing that i done with the candy cane nail just to give it a bit of texture. I'm going to sprinkle it with acrylic powder because I don't think I told you what I was sprinkling it with um, because I was talking about the collab, the the uh, December nail art videos. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't tell you, it's gonna be so amazing. I kind of do different, th I've been doing different things like the last couple of years. Like last year we done the crystal thing with um, with Scarlet. This year I'm doing the nail art advent, which I love. I might do it again next year, actually. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Right, anyway, this is the Mistletoe and Wine Preciosa mix from Crystal Parade. I think these are vintage Preciosa cabochon crystals. And you've oh, they might not be vintage actually, but you've got some little pointy back hearts as well. You've got a green one and two red ones there. The red ones are slightly smaller than the green one. I really like these. I really like this mix. And um, I wanted to get a set done with the crystals in it. You know what I mean? The crystals in the video, so you can just see them because they're awesome. They've got some, they've got several nice Christmas mixes actually on the website right now on crystal parade website and you can get five percent off using my code nat5 this is the new crystal fix gel from crystal parade it's rachel wilder's crystal fix i'm just using this to apply the crystals to the nail if i like the crystal fix has got like a precision tip but if i think i'm going to take too much out i'll just squeeze the tube and take a bit of the gem glue off with a brush and then i will brush the glue or gel onto the nail where i want it you'll see what i mean in a minute i think and for this one i'm just doing a really simple necklace kind of design so that's gonna have a quick cure this is all just see what i mean i just take a little bit out the top and then place it where i want it and that that way i'm i'm not going over the top I'm st I do still sometimes use too much I'm trying to get used to taking it from a tube as opposed to taking what I want out of the pot um yeah it's but here we go it's we'll get there I also once I've done this uh, I'm gonna put a is that a red one there I can't see and I think I put a red one underneath as well I do also add some gold caviar beads to this as well but I do that off camera because this video was getting quite long 
but that is going to have 60 seconds in the lamp once I've put everything on properly and this is then finished. I love this! I think it's so cute. It's the first time I've done a 3D gong that I remember. I'm not sure if I've done one before. Um, they've all been like flat. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It's completely free. God bless. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.